so this is a quick tutorial on how to do backdoor into Z with brown coat and grappling hook. Um, specifically, you want the trench coat for this. Uh, if you have red coat, it does not work, um, or it can work, but it's not, uh, it's very, very difficult to pull off. Um, so the gist of backdoor glitch is that I'm going to transition downward through this door and instead of being ejected downward through the door in Z, I'm going to be ejected upward through the door in Z, which is going to put me out of bounds. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grapple straight up above this door. I'm going to lower myself pretty close to the door and then I'm going to double tap down. And now I am out of bounds. I'm way the heck over here if I unlock my camera. Um, so if I go ahead and reload state, so okay, now I'm here. I've got the camera unlocked the whole time. You can watch what's happening. Um, so again, I grapple straight up, down, and then you can see I come out upward through the door. Um, and so then uh, my drone is able to do that, basically. Um, now, one thing that you should know is that I had never fired the drone before, so it was at its default coordinates in Erebu, and that put it right here. Um, so there actually is a, a really nice place um, in Erebu to stick the drone <coughs> to do this uh, in randomizer, but in the 100% route, um, in the 100% route, that is not how we, uh, how we use this. Um, <coughs> so let me go ahead and show you how this can be used in 100% to get to a uh, passcode tool. Okay, so back in the old days, um, we would set up a death warp with the drone somewhere on the right side of this room. Um, like here was a pretty good space. Uh, and then you would void warp straight to enhanced drone launch. Um, but in 100%, because you need to collect a bunch of items here that involve drone, um, so for instance, uh, well, you don't actually need drone teleport for this. You can get this with a grapple like that. Um, <clears throat> but there are several items here that essentially require drone teleport. Um, so there's uh, this over here. Um, you basically need drone teleport to get through that first tunnel. The second tunnel you can actually get through with a grapple zip like that. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, but uh, there's also another one that is at the top of uh, this chamber. Um, and so you would have to go all the way through here and then all the way back up to set up that death warp. Um, so instead, what I found is that, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the camera again. Um, you can, after you complete collecting those items at the bottom, you can do this, and then you can walk over here and use your laser drill to figure out that you're at the edge, right? Um, and I, I didn't actually place that correctly that time. I'm not used to doing it and being able to see, um, but <clears throat> you kind of have two options about how you, normally you don't have enhanced drone launch here, so um, it's a little bit easier uh, to, to get it, but with enhanced drone launch, you can kind of just do that. Um, to set it up. So once the drone is in that rough position over there, um, we can go back and use that back door into Z to void warp. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, see what happens. Um, let's go, and now I am voided out and so the drone is actually in the door, um, like it was in the doorway. And if you press any direction at all, oh, hey, here's white coat because this is randomizer. Um, you'll just pop out into the passcode tool room. Um, and that was that was used to get to passcode tool room in 100% uh, quickly um, without using a death warp. And then another um, void warp is used to get into the drone mini dungeon that's pretty close to where... Um, enhanced drone launcher is, and that is uh, that is the grapple jank. 